Alright, so, hey everybody, and welcome back to The Legend of Zelda, Twilight Princess. So, in the previous episode, we were taking on the Forest Temple, we helped out a couple monkeys, and now here's the boss of the monkeys. His name is Ook. This is the mini-boss of the Forest Temple, and he's gonna use this boomerang he used earlier to try to attack us. Basically, what he does is, don't worry, he's not gonna necessarily attack you right now. He will in a second, but he drops down some... Deku servants, and you're gonna want to quickly take him out. And this boss is actually a joke, so just don't worry about him. For being the first mini boss, I guess it's fine. So, anyways, what you're gonna want to do is avoid his boomerang and try to knock him off. So we kind of failed there, but yeah. Anyways, avoid the boomerang, hit him, and he will lose balance toward the when he wants to catch the boomerang again. It will actually hit him. And believe it or not, yes, go ahead and dig in. <laughs> We're gonna go ahead and attack his rear end, which is butt. And that's basically his weakness, you could say. So you want to kind of focus on that. Um, so you should avoid his attack, hit him, have him lose balance, and rinse repeat like that. And it doesn't really matter how many hits you're going to take. You just a certain amount, and he should be out. Um, you don't necessarily kill him. You just want to show him who is the leader of the monkey. I don't know what you exactly want to do. What you want to show him exactly, but yeah. It's just a rinse and repeat thing, it's actually really easy once you have it down. As long as you avoid the boomerang, you're fine, so... Anyways, I have a feeling that, yep, that was the last hit. Um, and there you go, that is that. So, as I did say earlier, um, in the previous episode, that there was a bug in his butt. Yes, there was literally a bug in his butt. That why he, that's why he was all feisty and, you know, didn't really do anything nice for us. He was just being a complete... Douche. So, anyways, once you do that, um, he, I guess he snaps out of it, and he's back to normal, and he just runs away, um, instead of apologizing, but I, obviously he did have somewhat of, you know, knowing what's going on, because he wouldn't be afraid after that, he would normally just wake up and not know what's going on, but anyways, here is the temple item, the special item we're going to be using throughout the temple, and this is the Fairy of Winds Boomerang, yes, I really love, you know, instead of the traditional opening up the chest, grabbing the item, they kind of represent it to you in a different way, but I love how they do it. Um, so we have the Fairy of Wind with us inside the Gal Boomerang, and we can use this, and it's going to be really helpful. So, um, yeah, basically how this works is you can, um, I'll show you guys in a second, but um, yeah, I bet those monkeys are satisfied now, blah, blah, blah. Midnight just had to say something to you know, show if she's in the game or something, I don't know. But yeah, um, so how you use this is you point your Wiimote and you can lock on five different things and it will actually head to each side. And that's basically how it works and ooh, I guess it was a good thing I did that because we can grab this and then the Galbo ring heads back to you. To you, so it's pretty useful, actually it's really helpful, it's one of the best items in the game, so yeah, you get it pretty early on in the game. Um, you're going to find it helping you out with a lot of puzzles throughout the game, not just particularly this temple. So anyways, what you're going to want to do is you can find yourself locked in here. Um, I'm just going to go ahead and sh lock on this many times, you don't really have to do that. But since I did do it, it should open up the door. Uh, I just realized it does open it up one piece by one. It's going to take three goes to actually completely open it. I'm just showing you that you have to do it several times. And yeah, we were locked in here, so that's the only way we can open it up. But now we do know the gimmick of this fan thing is like a lever. And you got to, you know, shoot it with wind or something to open up things. So keep that in mind because we're going to be using that just in a second. So anyways, heading out of here... um. As you remember the previous episode, four of the monkey heroes helped us um, basically make it to this area, but now they left us and we can't head back. So, what we're gonna wanna do is actually, yes, remember these bridges that are like self timed by how the wind's blowing? We're gonna this time change the current of where it's blowing and use it to our advantage. So, there we go. We went to the other side. Um, but they still are timed even if you do change the current of the wind for it. So, yeah, see, it will still turn. Um, anyways, wait, really, did I take that, that Deku Ball that fast, or the, um, what's it called, Baku Blend, there we go, but anyways, we saved another monkey over here, you just want to use your Gal Boomerang to, um, basically, on something, the web, I don't, I don't know what's the word right now, I ripped the web, <laughs> I don't know, I completely zoned out right now, I don't know what the hell's going on, but anyways, let's go ahead and continue on and see what we have to do, so, what you're going to want to do is head up here and, um, yeah, more of these 
Okay, that's it. You sh you, no, we're gonna have to freaking yeah hypnotize you and stuff. So, anyways, um, what I'm gonna do here? I wonder. Oh wow, I can. Wait, we're gonna have to switch these all at the same side. No, we didn't do it. I thought I was gonna do it, but whatever. Hit this, and we also hit the key as well. He's coming to us, and um, yeah. Anyways, use these bridges to cross by. Now we can head back to this area, and I don't remember showing off this area exactly. I think I did. But yeah, this room it takes us back to this area where we save two monkeys and things and stuff. And like I said, how I told you guys earlier, you need a specific item to get you a chest that's under or to uh, unlight the torches. Well, yes, it's wind, so we'll be able to unlight things. So, yeah, really helpful here. So let's go ahead and head through. Also, let me show you a quick tactic with these tile worms you can actually knock them off of the ground and things and yeah use this which basically ruin the tiles for them and they all happen to fall in the water so that's good well not everyone here but yeah you get what I mean so anyways let's go ahead and stand in the middle really quick and let's go ahead and mess around with this stair order as you can tell it's back to what it was before um, only two up and let's drop them all down so I think necessarily you only want to drop this one. This is going to be the only one that will help you then because that one leads to the final gigantic staircase that will take you to this chest. And I said previously there are two pieces of hearts in each temple. Well, this is the second piece of heart. So we got two pieces and we kind of set on that. Those are like, that's the main side quest in the temple, that. And then you have to remember that there's a dungeon map and a compass. And in general, they just help you out. You don't necessarily have to get them, but they'll always be helpful. But to 100%ing this game, you're going to want to do that. So, yeah, now all that's left is a compass, and then obviously the the main key that will take you to the dungeon's boss. We don't know what's it called yet. Well, I, I, I do, but I just don't want to name it yet. So, anyways, let's go ahead and continue on and head back to the main room in the dungeon itself, which is this room. And you can see the monkeys are back here, I guess. They're going to help us. Um, they're gonna help me jump from side to side, from place to place. So, um, as I did say earlier, um, the red rupee that was down here, if you did happen not to get it, um, because you, you couldn't unlight these torches, you can easily use your gal boomerang and just, yeah, hit the stairs and they will automatically fall like that. And that does that, and you can go ahead and grab the chest if you didn't get it. Um, another thing you want to do is head back here and you're gonna find, yes, the, the, the chest that are up on these webs. I don't know why the hell they're up there, but go ahead and rip the webs for them and have them fall down to you. And there you go, there's still one pot up there. I don't necessarily care, or we'll just leave it. And let's go ahead and grab the chest that lies in here. And what is it? It is the compass. Yeah, there you go, I was just talking about you. Well, thanks for being in my pocket. And there we go, now we got the dungeon map and the compass and all those pieces of harness in the temple. So kind of want to relax there, but there's still one more thing that you're going to want to remember before you really just focus on how to progress in the temple. Now, as you can see with the compass, we can see chests, and basically the compass is the biggest help throughout temples in general, because if you don't know what to do, all you need to do is look at a compass. That's basically all you need to do. So, yeah, we see, we see two chests. It's those yellow things, and um, there it is right here. I don't know if this is necessarily two chests or is it just one chest or... I don't know how the hell this works, but yeah, compasses do help massively. So remember this Z thing? Well, let's go ahead and, and have the current of wind go by a Z formation. So there you go. Let's go ahead and have that go. And what's it going to do? That's the only way you can actually open the door. If you do any other type of way, it won't really work. Maybe if you do it oppositely of the Z going through here, you could do it. But I mean, there's really no point to stand right here and then do it. It's kind of tight. So anyways, go ahead and open up the chest, and what is this chest? Well, it doesn't look like any ordinary chest, this is, well, yes, the chest that will allow you, well, this key will allow you access to the dungeon's boss room thing, and that is, yeah, the boss for the temple. There happens to be a chest right here, I don't necessarily, what the hell, I don't know what that is. I don't know if it's a glitch or something, but whatever. Anyways, so yeah, now that we have the big key, it switches up actually in Zelda games. They call it the boss key, big key, whatever. It's called the big key in this game. Remember that now we have access to the boss. So anyways, let's go ahead and continue on. Alright, so here you're going to find these, um, more, yeah, you'll find a monkey here. He's actually wanting you to 
follow him and if you remember I also showed this room before of how we got the key earlier way in the beginning of the temple um, there are yes these bridges that are timed and stuff they're getting to do something so what you're gonna want to do is go ahead and turn it and have it face your way and now what you can do is move it once again and then that way you can go through these two doors but I suggest saving the monkey that lies up here first and you're gonna see what I'm talking about in a second so anyways head through here and you're gonna figure out something now we saved a lot of monkeys throughout this temple they're all gonna come in to help so as you can see there are pads on that tree and there seems to be three more missing and when you save them all, so you want to basically fill the monkey squad and help them all. So keep that in mind. So let's go ahead and look for them. So anyways, here, let's go ahead and use this bridge and have it turn. So I'm going to go ahead and do this and that. And yeah, that, that's always... Can I drive it on time? No! Uh, I wanted to like jump on the bridge and have it turn with me. But that didn't work out too well. I kind of want to do it again if the bridges aren't looking... Yeah, never mind. Let's go ahead and do this oh it was actually I could have done that whatever it doesn't matter I guess we'll take our time it's always better um, so anyways hey come here there we go that was actually really cool I like how I did that and come on finish that oh, I can't do the finishing blow but whatever anyways um let me see where is my I happen not to have my slingshot out why would I do that um so yeah there's some more wall tools up here you're gonna want to climb yourself up here and we're gonna basically we already saw three doors so this one will take us to the first monkey of the three that are missing you can actually hit this from this far away yeah you can and then there were two doors also that we're gonna find the other two monkeys so it kind of tells you you know how it's gonna go down and things so we have it all set um, we know what to do basically and there's not really much more to cover in the temple it's basically those three now that we do have the boss key you do know you're kind of heading to you know an end to the dungeon itself and that's basically how dungeons work but it, this dungeon was actually pretty long so far and we're not even done with it yet but so far of what we covered it is pretty lengthy for a dungeon for me the first at least um anyways take out the box of blend let's head inside this door and see what's inside here so you see there's a red speck or something and that's meant to be like you know the monkey on the map so now that we have the compass we can see where the monkeys and stuff so I'm gonna quickly take out these serpents of sorts and we don't want them to okay he wants behind me I better quickly do a spin attack there we go and one fell in the water and they instant died like that um so what I'm gonna do here is yeah you can find a um Deku like just leave him for now let's go ahead and focus on saving the monkey so just quickly take out this Deku serpent um, there you go, you can always use your shield to block him from eating you up. So here we're going to do a tactical move. Not that. That is not the move I had planned. Go ahead and throw this in the water because we don't need it. Um, we're going to wait for the bombling to respawn and then I'm going to show you what I'm at. So there you go, once the bombling's here, go ahead and aim at this. So like you said, you can lock up to five locks and it heads to each area. It's going to hit the bomb wall and now you can climb it. So yeah, there you go. And you'll find um, up here. Wonder if it's actually guarded. Nope, never mind. It's Shabal. So let's go ahead and take out these Deku serpents. I don't even think that kills them if you keep jumping and attacking them. You're supposed to have them fall from their um, stem, and then that way you can actually take them out. I guess it's like an ultimate life support as long as they're still connected to the stem. So let's go ahead and take it out like this. And um, as you can tell, there is a cracked wall of swords right here just a gigantic boulder covering up this area because it actually looks like the wood is carved for it to be a door but whatever um go ahead and let's go ahead and grab this bombling up here as yes, you can just go ahead and grab it like that and let's place this right here and yes it will explode and there we go now we saved another monkey so that is um, another one for our collection. I think it's just going to leave you. Uh, yeah, I don't even think it's going to be with you anymore. They're not going to follow you. So I wonder if there's anything special here. Just rupees. Whatever. It's fine. Um, anyways, so as you can tell, there is a Deku-like back here. And there's a chest. So we're going to want to head through there. And you can't go through the water to try to climb yourself up. So as you can tell, as what we did so far, go ahead and use your bombling. Let's go ahead and grab it. And um, take this bombling and 
Hey, surprise, surprise! Here's dinner! Take it! Yes. He swallowed it. He's like freaking, I don't know, sucking on it, seeing how it tastes. And, well, he gets that nice surprise explosion at the end. Um, and there you go. Now it's a platform to where you want to head and grab the chest, which has a key. And we saw a locked door earlier. Um, so yeah, that will help us. So basically, I want to cover this room first so we can get the key, and then we can easily cover the other two rooms. So now, um, let me see. I just need more. I need at least one more piece of art. Yeah, there you go. Because I can't stand not having maximum um, life. So really, Link, you just drop down. There you go. Um, anyways, I'm going to go ahead and try this again. I don't think I'll be able to. What, whatever. Let's just do one by one. I have a feeling it wasn't even going to go well. So, you know, actually, you know what? I'm trying it. So, let me stand right here. Right here, exactly. And lock and load. And then, then I have to do it. Wait. That, that, yeah, that's not going to work, really. So, there we go. Yeah, I had to do it one more time. Never mind. So, that was kind of a waste of time. I wanted to move this one more time, but it wasn't really going to work like that. The other time I was doing it, it was actually going to be a pretty cool thing if I actually had it work out, but I did. Whatever, it doesn't really matter. Anyways, back to this room and back to this same bridge. So, go ahead and move it to your way, and we still haven't seen the small scene it shows you once you fix it. So, yeah, let's go ahead and fix the bridge is... Um, direction and once they see you yes we fixed the bridge they're gonna come and go ahead and attack you honestly these these freaking bakublins look freaky like they do not look anything like a, I don't know just the creature the creature I said creature the creature itself is just really odd looking and um just in general creepy so oh you dropped a rupee gotta pick it up put it in my pocket oh yeah okay so I'm not gonna go to the door with the key yet Go ahead and cover this room first. This one looks a lot easier. It's a lot smaller and everything. So, as you can see, there are um, just webs. And if you look up, oh, how do you do? Yeah, this. Oh my god, there's a spider. He just popped up in front of us. Alright, so let's go ahead and wait for him to almost attack. Oh, wait. Okay, okay, you gotta wait. Right now, you get a chance to attack. And hopefully, yeah, you throw him back and then they can go to the finish. Well, you've been stabbed, Skeleton. They have this weird face on them. But, yeah, let's go ahead and drop this one. I don't want him to give me a surprise right here. So, yeah, come down. Alright, there we go. And, yeah, if you quickly attack them, you can actually hit them before they're about to position their way to attack you. So, anyways, light this down, and we fell into the wrong one. Wow, I was supposed to fall into the other one where the Skulltula was at. But, whatever, and the Skulltula is actually chasing us. I'm going to try to avoid it really quick, because I don't want to fight it. Um, so, anyways, head your way back up here, and I was thinking the other small hole in the floor that we can actually fall in. If you look at the map really well, you would have been able to tell that it's closer to here rather than here. This is too far from the red dot that's in the map. So, yeah, I should have noticed that, but I necessarily forgot. So anyways, let's free this monkey, and he has saved one more monkey to go, and we are done with this monkey hero's quest. And I'm going to see if I can... Oh, there we go. Yeah, because I would have gotten attacked by the Skulltula if I did happen to fall on the floor. Um, a good thing grabbing them vines, Link. So anyways, let's go ahead and continue on and head through here and go through the last door. Um, so yeah, as you can tell, the, the bridge is still the way it was. And now we can actually continue and do things right. So, unlock the door and let's head inside. See what lies ahead. So you can see the red dot basically tell who's a monkey so um, nope I do not want to use my lantern but I do want to use my boomerang so lock 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 and just attack just there you go I'm not necessarily gonna attack him I'm just gonna it's gonna buy me some time before they flip over and there are some pots over here hopefully we can find some rupees there you go we found some anyways go around they're like running to their area there oh god I was hoping I could avoid him but I couldn't. So, anyways, I'm gonna flip you over, and that actually sounded weird when I said that. It sounds like I'm actually insulting him, but I'm not. I'm just flipping his tile over, and don't worry, you even have to take him out. You're not gonna head back here. So, anyways, there is a skull over here. Let's go ahead and give a couple blows at it. Well, I'm attacking it a lot because it's like glitched to the wall, and there's a wall pillar right here blocking the way. There's actually two of them. I wonder if I oh, I can't angle that. All right, and let's go ahead and climb our way up these vines and. 
as you can see it's it's kind of like it looks like we're wanting to go through the wall as we're climbing but don't worry it's just this weird round circle over here that goes on and um a wrong item once again let's go ahead and use said item right here and open up the door you want to make sure you hit them both at the same time since they're so they both move together both fans and there you go so let's go ahead and head out and there's, is there is a deco bob over here you can easily ignore it make sure you do a line jump here there we go now we avoided the tile worms and now we're fine so now with the eyes well let's figure out let's go ahead and move this together and see what happens when all the monkeys assemble assemble not slumber i don't know i see i seem to be slurring words a lot recently i don't know why um but yeah i mean you i started recording this in a really good mood but i guess since it's really hot it's starting to feel weird but i'm, I'm honestly this is like i'm really jolly when i record Twilight Princess. Actually, my favorite part is you're saying welcome back to Twilight Princess because I love this game so much. But whatever, enough with me complaining and not complaining and showing my passion and love for this game. Let's go ahead and see. So you can see they all assemble together in Chawine Gigantic. I don't know thing, but I'm doing it must be really tough for the one holding the monkey all the way on the top because basically it's holding all that way and then it's going to hold our weight as well. And yeah, they're wanting you to trust this. Now, being ourselves after seeing everything that happened and all the things. I wouldn't care. Let's go ahead and jump on and let go to the other side. There we go. So, as you can see, here is the um, final area in the dungeon. It is actually the boss door. So, um, in these big, there should be one big pot over here, or this small pot actually, that actually has a fairy. We can go ahead and grab that, but we have milk. But anyways, fairies, I think they replenish six hearts, and if you do fall, they automatically... Oh wow, these are only scooped fairies. Or maybe because we're full health. But yeah, if if you do fall and die, they will automatically give you another chance and, you know, automatically replenish your health. So anyways, we're going to leave that fairy to fly and be itself, and we're going to head inside the store. So, I'll see you guys in the next episode when we cover the boss of the forest temple. So let shackles fall, and here we go.